Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at a simple but vital part of the QSys Designer software, the Configurator. The Configurator is a window in the software that lets you manage various networked aspects of cores, I.O. frames, and other devices on your QSys network, or the QLAN. And to access it, simply go to the File menu, select Tools, Show QSys Configurator. It displays as a tab in the main window, and just like any other tab, you can undock it from the software, or you could split the screen if you'd like. However you view it, the panel is divided into two sections. A list of available devices on the left, and their properties displayed on the right. If a device is connected to your network and powered on, it should populate in the list on the left. This column will be sorted by type of device. Select any device and its appropriate information will display on the right. If the device is password protected, then you'll have to input that password first and then click Go. You'll see your device's name, what firmware version it is, and the name of the running design. If it doesn't have a current design, it will say so. Mine's idle. But if it did, it would show how long that design has been running. Cores will also display their model number, and cores and I.O. frames will display what types of I.O. cards are installed in each of their I.O. slots. At the bottom of the screen will be information on the device's network address for every network it has access to. Most devices will have two network ports for redundancy labeled LAN A and LAN B, and some devices have additional auxiliary networks. For each network, you can choose its mode from receiving an IP address automatically or manually by selecting static, and then you can define your IP address by inputting one here. You can also turn its access to that network off, although that option is unavailable for LAN A. If you would like to add a password to your device, you can edit that password here, which you must input whenever you attempt to access the device in Configurator. If you've made any changes to your device, you must select Update Settings in order to make these changes active. If you'd like to change your device's name, simply enter a new name in this field right here and then hit Update. Your device will reboot, and if you look at its LED screen, you'll see that the new name has been initialized. If you're not sure which physical device correlates to the device you see in the Configurator, you can click the ID button and the LED screen on your device will flash. Conversely, you can press the ID button on a core or I.O. frame and that device will flash in the Configurator window. Being able to see and adjust your device's settings at a glance is critical to incorporating them into your design. But just because the configurator can see the device doesn't mean that it's part of your schematic. You must manually add all devices to your design by using the inventory panel in the left side pane. You must then edit your inventory item settings so that they match the settings of your physical devices. This is why the configurator is so useful. You can quickly identify the name and vital information of your device letting you easily use that information to establish your inventory items. Once your inventory item matches the information you see in the configurator, your design can use that device to its full function and capability. Understanding the configurator is the first important step to being able to implement your design with actual hardware. Now once your inventory is ready to go, you can get to work on creating your signal path. So good luck and thanks for watching.